Welcome to Donna Inc., a woman-owned small business founded in 1992. ZenCon, Art of Zen Consultancy, is a sub-arm along with Donna Inc. Publications and aids in business and image management development for a variety of clientele. Thank you for joining us today for our debut training session through the Training Hive Group of subsidiary of ZenCon, Art of Zen Consultancy. This is a true primer. The Social Media Bootcamp provides essential skills to build on. This primer reviews the definitions of social media, SEO, and blog relevancy. F. Scott Fitzgerald, cash advances, and months of pre-printed high-cost in-store marketing are over. This is the writer's fantasy. It doesn't exist in the current hour. While ZenCon will aid Donna Inc. publications in achieving these goals as much as humanly possible, the fact is, we are in a digital world. It may seem daunting, but social media is actually your best friend when it comes to increasing the sales of your title. Gaining notoriety as an author and gaining a foothold as a writing professional for your next title is where you should always be. Stephen Hawking shared, intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. The internet combined with social media have worked together to dramatically further the changes in ways books are marketed. So why is social media important? It's important because of the facts concerning social media. 92% of consumers believe what their peers say about a product over what the brand says. 69% of marketers spend six plus hours on social media each week and 85% of marketers believe social media is good for business. At ZenCon Art of Zen Consultancy, as the marketing and public relations arm of Donna Inc. Publications, it is our aim to see that these social media facts, as well as physical print and publication facts, reach your desktops and are part of your vision in gaining bestseller status for your titles. When thinking about social media, think about presence. Represent the image or persona of a best-selling author today, not tomorrow. The internet is like an unforgiving lover. Share what you will today, and it will haunt you forever. The best place to begin is with a good website. Both ZenCon and Donna Inc. Publications present a solid start. Both share strong websites. Through Donna Inc., both ZenCon, Artisan Consultancy, and Donna Inc. Publications feature exponential bandwidth enhancements regarding web design, build composition, meta tagging, cross silo linkage, and insular spiral analytic parameters, which are known in the marketplace today. Being interwoven into this web of multi layered informational elements achieves the highest ranking analytic drivers on the internet, which turn into best-selling title on Amazon, for instance, seemingly overnight. With a 98% success ratio, this is a very good place to be, whether in print or digital. The next place to begin a strong social media presence is with a quality blog. As part of their services suite, Donna Inc. Publications creates WordPress blogs for all authors, just as ZenCon Artisan Consultancy often does for general clients. The author blogs are usually titled Author Jane Doe or Author John Smith, and you may wonder why. The reason is to aid in search parameters. Jane Doe will result in many results, but Author Jane Doe will result in probably just Author Jane Doe and this makes it easier for readers to find her titles. Closing out the definition of social media are other platforms, which can include Author Stan, Facebook, Goodreads, Google+, Instagram, Pinterest, Red Room, Shafari, Twitter. There are virtually hundreds of other platforms in the social media paradigm. So here's another picture of a WordPress dashboard. You need to get to know this is the quick press and it's for making those really fast posts when you don't have time or you just have easy things to share. ZenCon Art of Zen Consultancy designed Donna Inc. Publications WordPress blogs syndication to reach 3.5 million end users. 
This means book sales because it includes Amazon, Kindle, Goodreads, and Shelfari blogs. For instance, for each and every author, the syndication involves literally hundreds of feeds, which in turn reach millions of end users and drives up analytics on all sites that share those blog links. For an author, this is really good news. And for your readers, it's exceptional news because Goodreads and Shelfari are where most authors' readers go for researching books. You want them to find you there. Simple SEO, Search Engine Optimization, is the Internet's way of categorizing, sorting, and grouping all of the information that flows and bounces around the Internet. Engines like Google come to mind at first. Uh, there are many others. Uh, including uh, AltaVista, Bing, Bloglines, Excite, Hotbot, Lycos, etc. If you think of simple SEO search engine optimization as simple editing options, it makes life a little easier because the editing options in your blog and using social media enhance your chances of success as a presence on the internet. The next element in simple SEO are keywords. Keywords will get you noticed, they will set you apart, they will lend you respect, they will provide a following in a genre or niche market, and they will result in notoriety, sales, and success. The remainder of the presentation, author Chip Asajan agreed to allow his title, The Victorious Mindset, being published in the next two weeks by Dynamic Publication, to be used as a sample. His title, The Victorious Mindset, is a self-help title. If you put in a keyword search, some of the parameters you might result with would be relationships, uh, affirmations, inspiration, weight loss, emotional healing, uh, dreams, dating, divorce, meditations. And actually, for his blog, we focus on self-improvement, success, motivation, and self-esteem. Next is choosing your keywords. So what is your area of expertise? What is the genre of your title? Are there subgenres you fit into? What persona do you want to build? And what is your future as a noted author? Selecting main keywords is very important. You should go to other blogs or sites you find interesting and research their keywords or type in thoughts to search engines to see what comes up. Visit Google Key wordtool.com and they'll have a lot of suggestions and learning tools there for you as well. Or you could visit retailers for books and search book topics and find further niche keywords. Remember, the more specific keywords are, the better chances of being included in a search result and someone visiting your blog and or buying your title. Now here's the good stuff. You want to pick out five or six keywords to represent your blog. Referencing Mr. Chibisajian's title, The Victorious Mindset, and the term self-help, two pages of keywords results came up. Most had high number of searches, which means that they're good rankings as keywords. Self-help and self-help books were the most frequent flyers, and they're good basic premises for uh, Mr. Asajian to use. However, the additional five or six that he might want to include on a regular and routine basis would be self-improvement, his name, author Chip Asajian, his title, The Victorious Mindset, Donna Inc. Publications, his publisher, success, motivation, and self-esteem, as well as personal growth. Once we've established the five or six main keywords to use universally across the blog, those keywords, or most of them, used in every post increases exponentially the chances of being noticed by big search engines. If you visit www.traininghive.wordpress.com, you'll see an article titled Blogging for Authors Basic Tips for Quality Content. This does provide some good overview that will complement the next slides that are in the presentation. We've established our keywords and we're ready to begin posting a blog. The all-in-all -all portion of the dashboard is the best place really to post unless you use the quick dash for something uh, kind of down and dirty and, and fast to, to get out the door. In order to reach this, you hold your mouse over posts and a small menu pops up. Click Add Now and it'll allow you to begin a new post. 
If you would like, you can write out a complete post in a Word document or another word processing program before you go to WordPress. This works if you want to be able to spell check and play with formatting and uh, other visual aids preliminarily before entering it into your blog. Remember, if you're going to write your blog in another word processor, that you're going to need to copy and paste it from the word processing program into the blog. In order to do this, you need to make certain that you highlight using the left click on the mouse and that you copy and paste using the right. The headline is very important on your WordPress blog. Your headline is as important as the post itself. Keep it short. You need to tease and intrigue your reader and use at least one or two of your keywords, if at all possible. For this blog post, the headline is Chip Asasian's Victorious Mindset Begins with a Choice. Two of the keywords and a teaser are included in that headline. Looking at the WordPress blog, there are differing elements that you can include to make your story more interesting. You can change paragraph alignment, you can bold text, you can underline text. All of these features help to make it a more visually pleasing experience for your readers. Another intriguing element to readers are visuals. Readers do like to have uh, photos and other visual media included in blogs that they read. When you're in your WordPress blog, there's a tab that will say Media. Click on that and you'll come to the Insert Media page. When you reach the Insert Media page, just go to Select File and you can pick a file from your computer. And if you already have a file loaded, you'll be able to see your library. Just click on that and pick a, uh, a visual aid from there. The next element in making your WordPress blog really soar is to include links. Links will uh, aid in reaching greater search engine bandwidth. They cross-pollinate across the internet and they build uh, analytics just uh, by leaps and bounds. They draw more attention to your blog. So you want to add a couple of links and further increase your chances of your blog being seen or picked up by a search query. A link is a way to attach a few words in your blog to another website or a particular page on your website. As an author of Donna Inc. Publications, you definitely want to add a link to Donna Inc. Publications website in every post. You might also include ZenCon, Art of Zen Consultancy there. Get creative with your links. Include your Facebook fan page, your Twitter publisher page, and uh, think big and link your articles to websites. Also, Wikipedia always has a top-level search engine placement, so if you link to them, you're always going to uh, show up along those measures universally on the internet. A little more about using links. Typically, it is best not to say, go here, or go to this link. Instead, write a sentence first. Choose suitable words for the link within that sentence. Make certain those words and the sentence apply to the post. And then make certain the connection works once you've posted it and linked it. So, how do you add a link? To add a link, you highlight the word or words that you want to link, and you click on the link sign, which looks a little bit like an infinity sign. Once you do this, a menu pops up and it asks what you want to put in your link, as well as the link address. So, you might want to go to a URL or another website the URL is the HTTP address. You might want to visit and pick up a link there, such as the Victorious Mindset page on Donna Inc. Publications, or you might already have a link in mind that you know to put in. You select your link and then you begin entry. So here's where you add the link to the menu that the server provides when you click on the infinity sign. And once you have added your information and you close out the link, voila, you've added a link and it shows up in your blog. So what do you do now? Well, you can be a little bit excited. You've developed a blog. Woohoo! It's complete. 
So what you need to do is save it as a draft and hit preview and look at it prior to publishing it. Uh, that way you know that everything is correct. Is your spacing right? Are the photos lined up? Does um, it still demonstrate any spelling errors? And this is very important. And even if you have someone else post a blog for you, always go and do your due diligence because human beings make errors. After that, the most important thing to do is to press publish. Voila, you're published. Once that button's pushed, it's out there on the internet and the good news is you can go in and make changes. Uh, WordPress does though send out a change document to your readers. So anyone who has read it uh, does see a change or your subscribers will see the change. So it's best to have all your changes out of the way before you publish. Just a little wrap up. You know enough now about social media just to be a little bit dangerous and you do understand that keyword excellence puts you ahead of the pack. That your quality donning publication syndicated blog filled with flash gets noticed. Consistency and furthering blog development through the training hive at ZenCon and donning publications means bestseller results. And to introduce the Zen of ZenCon into uh, this presentation, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step or in this case, a single block. So what's next? Social Media Bootcamp Training Session number two, expanding your WordPress horizons. And Social Media Bootcamp Training Session number three, integrating content between media. Social Media Bootcamp Training Session number four, becoming a bestseller, understanding analytics. Additional training seminars will be featured. Many of these will involve writing and the semantics of writing. Uh, and differing aspects of author development apart from social media. We've included a training survey. Please go to SurveyMonkey and put in uh, the information there and let us know your thoughts and feelings. We appreciate you joining us today. ZenCon, Art of Zen Consultancy, and the Learning Hive Group are grateful to have had this opportunity to share social media bootcamp training session number one, Social media in a nutshell, simple SEO, and how to post a blog on WordPress.